we have two DMCs, which is called Royal Park Tourism Services, and uh, the second one is Royal Gulf Tourism. The whole idea of having two different companies was to be market specific. Like for example, Royal Park Tourism, we were focusing only on the Russian and the CIS markets. And uh, that is the model what we progressed on, being the best in the market, understanding the market better and better with full focus, without diluting any kind of you know uh, information or data. And uh, that is how we could make uh, success in that market. Similarly, Royal Gulf, non-Russian markets. So we would have started from Czech and Slovakia and uh, many other markets to follow later. Again, it was focus. So the question is, how do we manage with a kind of competition? Yes, we are carefully choosing the markets, studying the market to understand is it a desired market or not. In terms of, there are quite a lot of factors. It could be the profile of the tourist. It could be the average length of stay. Some markets will come in for two nights and three nights. Some markets will come in for seven nights. And again, we will see the average spend, the affinity towards the hotels, whether it's beach hotels, five star, four star, city hotels. Taking all this into consideration, we will choose the markets and the ease of doing business. So considering all that, so with this focus approach and after being in the business for the last over 20 years, we definitely would have lots of goodwill and uh, knowledge of the markets where we operate in. And uh, I think that is a strategy which will always help us to be in the market and as one of the market leaders. See, we have two companies, as I mentioned earlier, Royal Park Tourism Services. We entered the Russian market 23 years ago. And uh, naturally, this kind of experience, what we have over a period of 20 years, would definitely help us. We would have settled down very well after having created the infrastructure, what is required. We would have built up our team accordingly. And uh, we would have had good amount of learning about these markets in a period of time. And I think we understood the requirement of each market accordingly. We fine-tuned the kind of organization what we have. So basically, we're talking about reliable and good delivery of services. And that is what we were known for. And that is how we could get better market share and develop better tourists from Russia and CIS countries all these years. Company Royal Gulf, similarly, we had been to as a pioneer to Czech Republic and Slovakia. Once again, the infrastructure required was different. So we had that kind of lead and experience of almost 20 years, which helped us to create the brand of both Royal Park and Royal Gulf in the respective markets. This, of course, you need again the staff. I always give importance to that. They should know the mentality of the tourist and their requirements. And the reservation staff or the other office staff should know how best to cooperate with the bookers from other part of the world. So all these had to be in place. That gave us an edge and that gave us a lead. And uh, that is how I would say we are different because we were focused and we specialized in some markets and we maintained the market share. The wellness, it's a new concept as far as UAE is concerned and Dubai is concerned. But of course, the government has taken this as a priority. If that's the case, we are sure this will succeed. And uh, in a short while, we will have the best providers and uh, health tourism experts operating from here. And this will create that kind of trust what is required. Now, our job is to do the marketing. We have already started compiling packages, again, market specific. So what would Russia as a market need? What would Ukraine as a market need? What would Czech Republic need? So this is what we are doing at the moment. And we will launch these products at the upcoming exhibition in Moscow, which is the leisure, which is happening in September after 15th of September. So this is where we will showcase the products. And what we have done is we have teamed up 
with a company called Salama Tak, which is a medical tourism facilitator. And I think they are the first, was, first ones to be licensed in the healthcare city. So, in cooperation with them, we would be launching various products in the Russian market and we will gauge the kind of response. And again, choose the right products for each market once again and start spreading the word and go full steam ahead. And I'm sure in times to come, the results will be good. See, when we say specialized tools, it would mean itinerary based or group based. Again, this depends on the market. See, some markets, for example, Chinese market, it is totally itinerary based. But we are dealing with such markets, they would like to be literally a free individual tourist. If that's the case, we cannot ignore that. So both are good. It depends on the market where we specialize in. For example, India. India has both. So we need to be good at both and we need to satisfy the needs for both the segments. So in other words, I cannot say we prefer only FIT or the group or the itinerary based ones. We have to accept and adapt to service both the segments from each markets like uh, Czechoslovakia. They again would like to be a free individual tourist. So they would like to have their own option. They don't want to be led. They don't want to be orchestrated. So if that's the case, the market is different. So this is the way it is going on in this market now. When we talk about the target segment, certainly our forte is the leisure market and uh, the FIT tourists. So this is what we will always thrive on and focus on because of the loyal travel trade we are working with. So they would follow this kind of a pattern of business where they focus on individuals. Of course, there are groups depending on the markets where we operate, but most of our kind of clientele is through agencies, travel agents and uh, such people will always have more of FITs coming in. So our preference would be FIT, leisure, tourists. Talking about UAE as a nice destination, certainly with a kind of infrastructural growth by the government, it is proven that the potential is very great and is already happening. We have not been harnessing our energies towards the segment, but now onwards, as I mentioned earlier, the market demands that we must also have this kind of skills and specialization. And uh, especially with Expo 2020 coming in, we must gear ourselves for that. And we are in the process of setting up a MICE division. I feel the future of this business is fantastic and the growth will be tremendous especially with the kind of attractive business being attracted to Dubai and to UAE in general from all parts of the world from all trade this will definitely be a, a, a segment what we have to specialize in we will be doing that